then O'Reilly turning it back. They go up the center and that is Hurst. So the charge is just inside the 20. This is the part of the field that Patton likes most. There he is with the chip and chase and Leeds has got to work quickly. There's an appeal for try. Eddie Ward's checking for the in goal judge. It's a try all right. Just who he's given the try to. I think it might be the 5'8's Tom O'Reilly. And that appears to be the man that's shot up on the outside. Wes Patton, Ray got it spot on. He loves this 20 metre area. He found space. He put pressure on Andrew Leeds. And then on the outside, Tom O'Reilly just puts his hand down, his right hand down on the ball and gets the try awarded. Wes Patton, so dangerous. A deft little kick. I was just criticising his kicking game and wouldn't you believe it, the first try comes off his boot. Andrew Leach knocking it back. So too, I think you'll find, did Wes Patton towards Tom O'Reilly. Well, you won't see that very often. Andrew Leach making a mistake like that. I reckon he's one of the safest fullbacks I've seen for a long time. And uh, I don't think you'll see that too often. It'll be interesting to see, interesting to see just who he's given this try to. I fancy it's Tom O'Reilly. I don't think there's any doubt about that, Ray. And I think there is a little bit of doubt as to whether Wes Patton actually knocked on him. He knocked it backwards, Peter, um, if you're referring to Patton. There's no doubt Leeds did. It's Millard on for West in Jersey 15. Scandalous. Scandalous. And uh, referee's calling timeout. He's, he's got Nahi. It will be to do with this tackle on Scandalous. Yes, it's gone straight around the Adams apple. He'll give him a caution and Western Suburbs will get a penalty. Marcus by Steve Roach playing on the wing nearest. So it's OK to, to pick players from up there. What's the story while I've got you there, Steve, um, on Hurst, the second rower? Yeah, well, you were mentioning that they need all the experience they can get in this game. Hurst has got a cork knee at the moment. He's up, he's trying to run it out, and I'm sure that he'll be back. They need him out there. Well, this, is, this is another, another high shot and he's called over Des Clark. Graham Mackay is there only as captain. He's actually taken out one of the support players as Des Clark. Fairly emphatic tackle it was too on a man without the football. Looking for a big game today. Charges there. Ooh, gee, nah, he has been taken high. And it's scandalous because Let's remind you that, uh, oh, it's Millard, in fact. I was about to say it was Nahi that uh, tackled oh. the Western Suburbs player high just a few minutes back. Gee, it was an awkward attempt to at tackle, wasn't it? It got him high. This is going to put the charges firmly on the attack. And this is Marcus By. Or again, answers the call on the last, and the kick. <laughs> well, I don't know how Scandalous picked that up, but he did. Well, it was there for a couple of seconds before he realised it was lodged between his knees. The kick was from Wes Patton, aimed back behind the ruck area to a, a designated chaser. It was a planned move, but they didn't plan to kick it straight to. The Western Suburbs defender could charge there up the middle from Mesher. Scandalous, beautiful. Man. Scandalous. Back now for George Jarlis. Millard, or is it Scandalous now? It's Scandalous now. That was Millard just a couple of plays earlier. Hasler goes out from dummy half. Hasler close to the line. Five gone. Mesh up. Looking for Langmac. Now the captain. Holds it back and in goes Scandalous. Beautifully done by Paul Langmac. Well, it was just simply a case of fine lane back, and he will work something out. He had Scandalous ready. Yeah, great work here from Paul Langmack. This is what we expect. If we freeze it there, you can see that Scandalous has come from this direction. This player is committed to his man Pearson, and the gap opens up the middle, and Scandalous runs straight into it. The ball was a beauty. Chris Orr coming across in cover was never going to be able to stop him. There's Wes Patton trying to get up offside. Just have a look where Scandalous comes from. He holds it up. He commits all the defenders. And perfectly executed there from 
the best ball players in the business. Well, it was on the signs early, was it? Langmack going to the line. Uh, he got some uh, he got some tackles up early too, Paul Langmack, and uh, I th just, uh, the defence is in two minds, and all of a sudden he runs runs to the line, short ball, and sensational. Jason, the two that he's kicked today he left the boot sweetly. Now come from 6-0 down to be in front, and this is an awful restart from the Chargers. Not only from the Chargers, from their captain. So the penalty in the centre of the ground goes to Western Suburbs. Steve Roach, uh, very good tackle by McKelleher. And on the last tackle, it's with Doyle. He puts in a nice little kick. Oh! They have forced it in goal. It'll be a line dropout. Yeah, the Chargers there in all sorts of trouble. The man coming across to cover, I think it was Jason Nickel, was attempting to get the football and get back into the field of play as quickly as he could. There you see he was leaning back to, to get back into the field of play before he had control of the football. Yeah, so there's no downward pressure. Don't they love their football up there in uh, PNG? And uh, they'd be watching the pictures of this match today. But uh, any opportunity, any piece of land that they can find to play some football, play some touch football, that's what they love to do. Hasler comes off. The blood bin has been ordered on him. That's a good trick by Marcus By. So who gets that tackle? I think Marcus By tackled himself. Well, here's George Arliss. He went in as a tackler, but he finishes up being tackled himself by the man with the football. Well, I think if the Gold Coast can string a couple of passes together here on, on the fringe of the ruck, they'll make some uh, good ground. But here we go now. Clark's done well. Patton was there to support. And then it's Nickel. And the pass to his captain goes infield off the shoulder. Blackett looks for the corner. Blackett gets it over, but he's into touch. Well, you've called it, Gilly. They've thrown the passes to the left. They had a little bit of luck at the end where a pass coming back inside bounced into the arms of Wes Patton. Keith Blackett taken in a try saving tower. How good is oh, Gil Meister? What about how good will he be State of Origin Wednesday night? Ball bounces out of the arms of Mackay. Here's Blackett looking for support. Swung in a tackle. Tremendous work from Mesher to be there. I'll ask Indigo. I think his name was Indigo Jones to see whether the breeze is going to be with Gold Coast in the second half. But I'm sure it will be. As King again gets it back into the field of play. That's a good effort. Oh, he's having a fine game, Andrew King. A lot of pressure on him on a couple of occasions, and he's he's done the very best he could in each situation. He was willing the ball to go dead. Good chase from Mesher. He skipped out of that tackle and threw another one. That was Brett Hodgson coming up to Clark. Sattler. His uh, famous dad, of course, has been domiciled on the Gold Coast for a long time. Here's Patton again. Gets a second kick on it. There's still danger, but uh, Willis is going to get back there. Very quick over the short course. And Darren Willis was able to clean it up for the Magpies. Kennedy now. McGuinness, he's away. McGuinness, down the sideline, the fullback's coming across. And McGuinness gets the ball in. Supporting was Hodgson. Goes back to the centre, and George Arliss was there. King 20 again. metres out. Now it's Scandalis put away. Oh, what about the fullback's effort there? Three tackles, saved a couple of tries. Langmack, Langmack to the 10, turns it in. Still a chance for Doyle. Doyle will score. He's over the line, puts it down, and a try to Western Suburbs. Where was the fullback, Stella? <laughs> he was he he was still exhausted from what he was forced to do, but it came from the big bust at the other end of the field from McGuinness. He gets on the outside of Graham McCoy. He's got tremendous speed, and one-on-one -on -one you'd expect him to score, but the fullback did a good job to force him towards the sideline. Ball came back inside. 
Brett Hodgson spins out of a couple of tackles. And look at that. The fullback's got back up to take Steve George Arliss. And really the Chargers, they just couldn't get back in time to, to cover. Paul Langmack opened them up. Very poor play on the inside work there. In fact, the number eight, Des Clark, I think is very responsible for that try. He was loafing across. If it had shown some intensity to get over, he might have been able to stop that back on the inside. So from one end of the park, where they were under some pressure, you'll recall it was Wes Patton got the kick in, the chip, the chase. He kicked it again. And then all of a sudden, West got possession after Darren Willis had done some cleaning up. And across the ground to the right, and it ended there. A 100-metre effort, really. And Leeds converts. Millard. Langmack. Pushing it down for Mesher. Mesher ducking under the big men. Finishing on the halfway line. And then Georgiano. He did well in that try. The bandaged head there is with Des Hasler. And Graham Mackay wrestles. In fact, the two veterans come together. Georgiano's going across, looking for his wingmen. Marcus, not Marcus by, but um, Wes Patton getting up. Put away in defence by Georgialis. Des Clark. And a penalty goes against the Magpies for raking the ball out. So the Chargers will come away from their own area. Off the boot of their captain. This brought the penalty. Two men in the tackle and Bill Dunn raking the ball out. Graham Mackay then. Will he find touch? No, he doesn't. Well, he's having an awful day with his kicking, Graham Mackay. In fact, he's having a pretty ordinary game all around, Ray, as Harvey Howard up the middle. He missed McGuinness on the far side. The other winger for the Chargers made 10 hitter. Oh, the fullback came up and he felt the shoulder of Mesher. Now Mackay gets involved. Got it. Six minutes of the second half gone. Still the match wide open. Coast with the breeze in the second half. As Georgialis steers them ahead. And then the knock on out there from Darren Willis. Howard. McKellaher for O'Reilly. Sees a gap, tries to go through, tries to get a pass away. Whitaker it is. The big man has tackled six more. Six more tackles for the Chargers. Golden opportunity for them. Patton slides the ball for Sattler. He puts the ball down. Try for the Gold Coast. And yeah, they're back into it, the Gold Coast. Some good pressure there. And Scott Sattler gets across in identical fashion to the Western Suburbs try. That was Langmack and Scandalis. This time it's Patton and Sattler. He was taken low by Kennedy. He's able to wriggle over the top of Andrew Leeds and get the ball down. Some good lead up to this try. Keeping the ball alive, the Chargers. It's a good ball from Wes Patton, committing some defenders. Scatler, Sattler gets the ball over the line. Very timely try for the home team. Similar to the Langmack Scandalis try for the Magpies in the first half, young of the Chargers. Leeds waiting for it to bounce, and then there's a race for the ball. Marcus By has been called offside. Very big in goal area here at Carrara Stadium. Seen both sides utilise that on a couple of occasions. Let's just have a look where Mar Marcus By is here. He was in front of Wes Patton, only marginally, but it was enough. Just to show whether he was able to ground the ball anyway, because Leeds had it covered. No, no problem. 
the, uh, the hard yards as much as possible to the others, which is a good way for him to construct his game. A high kick, and uh, it's down with the Gold Coast. Oh, gee, I tell you what, he's been safe under pressure, King. He's just about been the best player in the field this afternoon. Ray is, boy, it's another strong charge to beat a couple of players. This is a magnificent take because there are bodies everywhere. He just gets very good body position. Sattler was only about eight metres offside. Oh. Leeds. Definitely putting it down that corridor. And oh, King. Well, he, in touch. he took the chance. It came off for him. But the referee has ruled the ball, I feel, went forward. I think Ray, you'll find that King goes into goes into touch the, the touch judge on the other side puts a flag up. I think he's saying that King put the foot up. There's the flag going up there now. Or down. Tackle from Haslam was high. He's been penalised plenty of times in his career, Des has, especially the last three or four for going too high. He looks too ball and all the man. In this day and age, not much margin for error. Put O'Reilly back into the action, so he's got O'Reilly and Blackett as his halves at a time where they have to score. That's Mickle right. makes Kennedy. the mistake. Kennedy makes a beeline for the try line. Ten metres out from the line. Hodgson. Dancing away, pulled down a metre from the line. Mesha, George Alas, holding it back and getting it away for Scandalous. Charges, it wasn't Scandalous but Smith, and now Millard. Millard will score! He reaches out, puts it down, it's a try! Western Suburbs, they're over the line. 18 points to 10. And that'll be the match winner. With 12 to go, an eight-point lead, possibly a 10-point lead. I don't think the chances are going well enough to pull that back. This was the mistake from Nickel that gave away possession at this end of the field. Kennedy showed good speed off the mark. O'Reilly finally cleaning him up 12 out from the line. And a few tackles later after James Smith had run into a good gap. Millard throws the dummy. Left foot step, right foot step. Goes around Andrew King, his first mistake of the day. Sattler tries to pull him back. In fact, it's not Sattler, it's... Yes, it is Sattler. In the 11. And now nah, he kicks out at the end to no avail. Ten metres out from the Magpies line. And misunderstanding there for the Chargers. Blacker chips ahead. Leeds is there to ground it. Well, talk about outstanding players in this match. His work rate has gone unnoticed. By, by many, 18 tackles, 22 hit-ups. That's a lot of work for the uh, the Englishman. George Arliss under the tackle of O'Reilly and Mackay in the dying seconds of the game. Doyle on, Langmack turns it in, and Kennedy is able to get it away for Hasler. Hasler's got the line and he sights, he's over. Desi Hasler has picked up a try. So, Western Suburbs, 24, the Gold Coast Chargers, 10 now. Yeah, it's a lovely set move, this one. It's a Canberra play. As we come across, and we freeze it there, that pass is actually selling that that man is going to get the football, when, in fact, it's this player here going back at the other angle. Just have a look at how the Gold Coast Chargers think that it was going to Millard, when, in fact, it goes to Kennedy. And Des Hasler, still so fleet of foot after all of these years, gobbles up the last 10 metres. This is, it's really well constructed because they're selling the angle here. It comes out to Langmack and the pass actually goes to a player that unread by the Chargers. That was Damien Kennedy coming back at a different angle and he swivels around through the tackle of O'Reilly to find Des Hasler who just puts the foot down. You can see four points written all over this. 
and heads towards the post. 36 years of age, Desi Hasler.